Hi guys, it's Isla back with my Rainbow Honey unboxing. This one's for January 2015. 16, sorry. Um, hopefully I have uploaded the one I just did for December of 2015. If not, I don't know how I'm, how I'm going to upload these. So The other one will be up around this time. So it's a subscription nail polish, soap, perfume a wide range of items. Uh, I have the mini one which is $10 plus $2.95 shipping. You can get a larger, you can get just lips, you can get just nails. It comes with a letter telling you all of your items and more about them and what collections they're from. They've been coming in a nice flower sack type of thing and then bubble wrapped. First item we have is Pate de Pastiche or uh, Pistache. This is whipped cream soap. It has such a weird feel to it. Um, I will use this. I I don't like dry soap. I mean, I don't like bar soaps, but I do like body washes. So I will. Sorry for the shadow. I will use this. Um, interesting. Um, I'm not a. I, I think this is supposed to be pistachio. It's green and it sounds like it's pistachio. So I'm not a big fan of, but I'll still use this to try it out. It's one of their brand new items. Uh, then we have two items um, that have the same flavor. We have a nourishing lip balm and cucumber melon. And then we have a cucumber melon. They call it a sugar lip scrub. Those are the two items. They have the exact same scent. But when I open up the Sugar Lip Scrub, it does not look like any of their lip scrubs that I've had from them before. Those actually look like sugar and they went on nicely. This one feels like it's um, shea butter or cocoa butter. So I'm not going to use it as a sugar scrub because the bottom of it doesn't tell you what it's supposed to be, but it does say for external use only. The top is the only one that's labeled correctly, so I think maybe it was mislabeled. So I'll use this one as just like a hand softener skin treatment. This, the smell isn't, smell is somewhat overpowering. Melon, cucumber scent, which I mean, I like melon and cucumber to eat, but it's a strong scent. I don't think I can live with it on my lips. So this I'm not going to open. I'm just going to put it in the Christmas bag for my coworkers. Then we have two items from the same line. Um, we have a body mist that is from the line Caramel Forest. Um, I have tried this when I first got it. I did not like the smell. It was very strong. It had a caramel tinge, but it was very woodsy, um, dark smell. Uh, it was overpowering. I did not like it. This will also be going to my coworkers. And then it came with a nail polish full size that is called Caramel Forest Glitter Topper. This looks like a really ugly <laughs> glitter topper. It's like brownish with like or This looks to me like more of a Halloween um, fall type of glitter topper and I'm not one to like glitter toppers very often. I'd rather have the glitter built into the actual opaque um, nail polish compared to a topper. I'm lazy. So this will also be given away to my coworkers because I don't feel like dealing with this. But let's look at it. Yeah, it's glittery. <laughs> and it is brownish. It's not just clear base. It's like brownish. It's the fourth one. Eh, not my type. And then the last item we have is something I'm looking forward to. It's a full size nail polish in the call Planet M. It's like a very, it's like a magenta ish uh, um, glitter or at least shimmer. I'm not a big fan of pinks, but I do like shimmer. And it's not very shimmery when. At least on paper. I've not tried this actually on hands. I'm sorry for the shadow. Ooh, but I do like it. It's that last one. 
I really do like it. Oh, and yeah. So, glad to get this. Trying their new soap because I don't like bar. So, I hope that the whip soap is good. This, I think they mislabeled, but I'll still use it, but not as a sugar scrub. The other three items I don't really care about. So, those will go to my coworkers. But I still like the subscription. It's really nice. Nice variety, anyway. So, thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye.